Okay, so I'm going to do a uh, kind of combine two ideas. So I hurt my back the other day, yes, really yesterday morning, oddly enough stretching. It was, <laughs> I stretched overly aggressively thinking I would do this stretch and just kind of push and try to stretch my hamstrings out more aggressively and then I hurt my back. So now it's a little sore. So I do think that having some kind of injury if you want, if it's not so, my back is not so bad that I can't swing a club sort of gently and smoothly, right? So if you have a really bad back, then you rest it. But if there's a point where you have a back that's somewhat sore and you've experienced an injury from playing, once you get better enough that you can start moving, it's a good opportunity to feel where you may have problems in your swing in terms of is it really body compliant. I think a lot of people have had the experience of hurting themselves a little bit and then that sort of smooths out everything in your golf swing and you actually hit the ball better, at least more accurately, if maybe not as you know far or aggressively. So I would say a bad back can be a good opportunity to feel some things in your swing in terms of how you need to time things, how you need to maybe take some abrupt movements out of your swing and smooth things out and become more compliant to gravity. And so those are kind of elements of timing and sequence and how force is applied. So take the opportunity if you have you know, a somewhat sore back to figure out, well, how can I now move in a way that doesn't put any strain on that? And my thing is, I'll, I will notice a few things that I would do differently. So one of them is I don't transition as quickly. So that sort of abrupt transition goes away because I'm not going to put some strain on my back by doing that. So tend to be more compliant about letting it fall, tend to be more synchronized, if that makes sense. So keeping things more together in the swing is one thing I feel. And then what I notice too is it's really where I feel the most potential for strain is right after the ball. What am I doing? Is there a moment where there's a, like a pull or a jerk on my body? So I tend to have trouble with a bad back finishing my swing. And so the thing I've noticed is, I've been fiddling with this a little bit, if I can get myself out of the way, so when the pull happens, I'm not at all like this. I'm out of the way, and I've got free access to the finish of my swing. So for me, feeling like I have free access, which would be standing a little more open, having this foot maybe rotated out a little bit more, and then I can feel that with my trainer. I believe my trainer, even though it's 10 pounds, feels like it has less potential to hurt my back, and I think it's because I have to swing smoothly, and I'm not inclined to put any strange force on it. So, good thing to know. And then try it out. Even If your back is fine to swing the trainer gently, then that's okay. And then just feeling that same feeling in my swing. And now feeling, how can I be very gentle, very focused on my lower back now and what's going to happen with that. Okay, so it's probably a little far from the ball there, which is a habit I've developed in terms of feeling like I didn't have something I had to do. I'm getting myself a little bit closer. I feel like I'm standing a little more open now. Let's see if I can get through the ball more smoothly. And that was way better, both in terms of not hurting my back but also in terms of like the quality of the shot. So nice and smooth. I feel like I give myself all sorts of access up here so I don't have a thing where right there my bad habit is to stand too closed 
get to there, there's where the strain is for me. So it may not be the same for everybody, but for me, stand more open, rotate this foot more out, and then it just feels like I have a nice clear path to move through. So it's, a, it, it's an opportunity if you have an injury that is mild enough that you can still kind of swing, a half swing with your club, figure out what your body needs to do to take away that strain. It's a perfect opportunity to rethink how your swing works so you can go on and play golf then with less strain is also going to be more accurate but also easier on your body, good for your longevity. So I'm going to try this one again. I'm liking this maneuver. Stand more open. Nice and out of the way. It's also taking out some little, I, my fault would be to overdraw the ball, pull it a little bit. So just kind of take that away, stand open, try one more. And that was probably the best one. So in that one, then I worked on sort of the two aspects that I'm figuring out here, which is if I probably drop a little bit, that's easier on my body. If I'm standing open enough that I have plenty of access to turn through the shot, that's also easier on my body. So I do one more, let it drop. Lots of access to the front side here. So. So that's, it's a good, it's just good information for me. So um, there you go. Don't waste your opportunity to learn from your injury how you might have an improved swing that's going to be in the future easier on your body.